Hello and welcome from the Bristly Stranger. We have something now on the channel that I've been meaning to do for a long, long time. A good friend of mine, Penge, bought this for me a long time ago, and I think the original plan was maybe for me and him to do a game of it on his channel. We never did quite get round to it, but we both do love this game. I do have a physical copy of it in real life as well, Rather than doing a solo variant of this, a couple of my friends that also loved the game, and that I've also played the physical copy with as well, they've agreed to join me, and they didn't mind the fact that I was recording as well. Let's go to the setup screen and have a look at the settings we're going to be using. So I have set up a private game. You can have up to five players, but we're playing with just three of us. We're playing with the Corporate Era rules, which adds a whole bunch of new cards to the game. I think it's about a hundred extra cards. Supposedly slightly more complicated, but I haven't found that to be the case. We are playing with the Drafting variant, which means instead of just getting four cards and choosing which one you're going to buy, you select one and then pass them on to your friends. That means you could be passing them a really great card that you don't want them to have. So your choice is there. Very, very important. It does make the game a little bit longer, which I'm already slightly worried about. But that is fine. I don't know what the karma level is. I've not played enough against random people to understand that bit. The 15 days is how long our game is going to last. That is just so we don't accidentally run out of time. When we did a test recording last week, the game ended half an hour early and yeah, it went down as a, a failed game for us. Uh, we're playing with rank mode on and AI sub mode on just in case anything does go wrong. My two friends, their usernames are there on my friends list. We've got Term, which is Martin, and we have got Jade Nim, which is Simon. They're under strict orders, not safe. Uh -oh. And especially not, uh -oh, we're going to do the best we can. Let's start up the game and see which corporations we're going to get. Okay, we get a choice of three corporations. Beginner corporation is just money and ten cards, which isn't bad, but it is boring. I have also got the Tharsis Republic, which will give me a building tag. It also gives me a free city as my first action, which is pretty good. Also, whenever anybody places a city on Mars, my money goes up by one. And uh, whenever we place a city, we gain three money. So that sounds good. Our other option is Eco Line, which is the plant based one, starting with less money. But we have three plants and two plant production. And we only need seven rather than eight plants to make a plant tile to go onto Mars. So I don't know which one to go for. I'm probably going to go with Tharsis because we had about a billion cities in our test game the other week. Uh, yes, I'm going to go with that. Jade Nim, who is a good friend of mine, is actually called Simon in real life. Uh, what corporations have you got? Uh, right, so I actually have some awesome choices here. Uh, I've got Interplanetary Cinematics, which gives you a building tag, uh, and it also gives you, starting with 30 monies and 20 steel, which is a lot of steel. That's good. And every time I play an event, you gain two more money. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and then I also have Phobo Log, which is 23 money and 10 titanium as a starting thing. It's a space uh, tag uh, corporation. And it also has the effect of titanium resources are worth one more monies that's, each time you that's use a them. Good one. So I'm in a bit of a quandary here because <laughs> these are both awesome. Well, <laughs> while you're deciding, we will have a chat with Term, who is another good friend of mine, Martin. Hello, Martin. Hello. Well, I have got um, Inventrix, um, which starts with 45 credits, and as your first action you draw three cards, so that gives me a good load of options to begin the game with. Um, their other effect is you can 
um, play cards with plus or minus two steps of the reco uh, yeah, uh, global requirements. Good, yeah. um, in my experience, I never tended to use things that give that ability, mostly because I forget that I have it. Yeah. Um, so that's one. The other one is Helion, which is the heat the really good one. Um, corporation. Start with three heat production, 42 monies. And can spend uh, heat as money, but not money as heat. Yeah, that one is fairly fantastic. I guess on Mars you can't burn your um, notes. Probably <laughs> made of yeah. So I'm probably going to go with Helion. Yeah, a good choice. I think on slight reflection, I am definitely going with Tharsis. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Interplanetary Cinematics. Excellent. I think that much starting resources is uh, too tempting. Yes. Okay, so into the game now. We'll all be choosing our own 10 cards. Uh, we get to choose them, but we have to pay for them with our starting monies as well. So we'll probably cut this bit. I might have a chat about what I'm doing with my cards afterwards, uh, but obviously I'm going to have to read through, and so is everybody else. Okay, so I ended up with loads and loads of really good cards. Uh, I don't think it's going to give too much away. Well, I, that, we've all played the game before, and we will recognise some of the names. I've got Artificial Lake, Solar Panels, Ganymede Colony, Advanced Ecosystems, Lightning Harvest, which has got three science tags needed, so I nearly didn't take that one. Uh, imported Hydrogen. Uh, nitrate Reducing Bacteria, which is really exciting. Uh, it's funny what you get excited about in this game. And Research Outpost. And I'm not taking Livestock or Domed Crater, because they're quite late game and obviously we haven't even started. And I have spent 24 of my credits already, and we haven't even started the game. And you guys have also made your selections. How much did you end up spending in the end? Uh, 21. I dropped down to... I was going to take 8, and I took 7. Oh, oh. Maybe I should drop that one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm second-guessing myself. What about you, Simon? Oh, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm being tight-fisted here. I've only bought five, so that's 15 oh, for me. Blimey. Right, we're ready to start. So, I am first player. I have got a forced action, which means I have to place a city. That was because I am Tharsis Republic, so we will be doing that. Where's a nice place? Um, well... Uh, let's go... Just there. Uh, that is the first action out of two. Uh, I think I've spent all of my money though. Uh, so, oh no, we can play this as well. And uh, now I really have spent all my money. So uh, I have to click end turn. So it's over to you guys. Yep, so I can, I can commentate to you in the meantime. Yes. I'm playing uh, Earth Office, which will give me a discount on any Earth tag cards. Excellent. Follow that up with a card with an earth tag, which is business contacts. Um, it'll only cost me four now, and I get to look at the top four cards from the deck and take two into my hand. Is that an action or a one-off? That's a one-off. Um, so I'm hoping early in the game it gives me a bit more flexibility. A cheap power plant. It's a very cheap way to get some energy. Investment loan. Get money now, but reduce my money production. That is a good card. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, money production's not so bad for you because you've got your heat for money special ability. That is true. Burn that cash. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, so we will probably get a little recap. Uh, if we hit Should do. OK. So there's the Earth office. And very quick, so it's a good job you gave us a little commentary as well. And there's business contacts. Of course, we don't get the cards that you chose. You do not. And there's some cards going into your hand. And now it's purple player. So, Simon. 
Hello! Right, now, key to this is always remembering to play the cards in the right <laughs> order. Yes. <laughs> so, I think the first thing we're going to have to do is the space station. Which gets me a discount every time I play a space card. Very good. And given that I have bonuses from events and a lot of spacey things are also events, I seem to recall, so... They're also quite powerful as well. And then I think we're going to follow that up using some of my steel to uh, get me a space elevator. Oh, no! <laughs> Which gives me some titanium production as well as some victory points. Very good. And okay. Back to you. So we'll see the little recap. There's the space station. Excellent. And there's the space elevator. Titanium production. Very useful with all your spacey nonsense. Yep. And then it should be coming back to me. Hooray! Uh, now, we've got eight monies left. So, I don't think we can use anything. No, everything's greyed out. So, we've got no actions. Uh, we've got an effect, but that works on its own. So, we're just going to pass, and that'll be the end of us. Okay. Good one to get this card early. I've got tardy grades. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so didn't. Haven't they apparently um, uh, survived on the moon? Uh, I saw in the news some, some weeks back. Believed to have uh, travelled on a ship and that they'll be frozen, but they can be brought back to life. Mm. Magical. Excellent yes. stuff. And I'm going to do micro mills, which is a very cheap way of getting even more heat production. Excellent. It's a good job you got that. It's a good job, I think, you have that uh, adjusting you. There's the tardigrades. Boundaries, because I don't think we could play that one. <laughs> And micro mills, more heat. Excellent. Only three as well. Yeah, quite a few cheap cards to uh, open the game with, it's not bad. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at mine and seeing how expensive they all are. Never mind. Speaking of cheap cards, because I have a discount, I can use a Trans Neptunian probe. Easy for you to say. Oh. <laughs> And then I think I'm done. Okie dokie, so we'll see that as well. There it is. Wow, that is quite a cheap card. And then it will skip me, because I've already passed without doing an action. So back to Martin. Yes, yeah, so this is the what I find one of the, the uh, interesting decisions in the game. Do you spend all of your money on the opening <laughs> turn, or save some of it for turn two? Because turn two often bites hard. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you get to draft for amazing cards. It's true. Oh, what I shouldn't forget are my new actions. Oh yes. Tardigrades. Now I can't remember exactly what they do. I think if we... Uh... Oh no. Oh, no add no. a microbe to the card and then... It's worth it's points point at the end, isn't it? For every four. So getting it in the first turn of the game is yeah. pretty good. I'm back to Simon. Yeah. I'm not still playing you two. <laughs> I feel like I'm just disappointing uh, people now. Well, I also have an action, but I don't think it. Um... No, let's do this action actually, thinking about it. Because it's a once per turn. So it means it gives me the option of doing it next turn as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you're producing steel, that's a good one. So, yes, one steal for money. Very good. Right, I've got one option I could play. I think I'm going to skip for now, so I shall pass. And Simon, anything else? No, I'm also passing. So we will be going into the next round and we will be drafting some cards. After the production phase, I actually have got some. A little bit of money and a little bit of energy. Heat for Martin. And 
titanium for Simon. Very good. Of course, the extra money there was from our victory points, which at the side next to our names is 20 at the moment, because that's what you start on and no one scored anything. Now the cards. Okay. That looks fantastic but expensive. That looks really good. Uh, I think I'm going to select this one. I don't think this one's coming back to us. It's too good. Uh, but we, we need this one for early game, so I'm going with that. And once the other guys have chosen, we will have a look at three more cards. So this greyed out one, that's the one that we've already chosen. Ooh, some moss. You do get excited about some weird things in this game, don't you? You sure do. And <laughs> this is quite nice, because it combos with other stuff. Uh, but I am quite excited about some moss. You see, the danger point is we get four cards that we want and have no money again. But I think... Yeah, no I'm already in there. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I buy what's best for me, or do I take what's best for you guys? <laughs> yes, there is the denial picks, just so other people don't get it. Now, both of these are terrible. They're events, so they're one-offs. Uh, this allows us to rob our friends, and this one gives us minus points, but it also gives us minus money as well. That's terrible, isn't it? The flooding. I, I yep. suppose it, it scores a point, uh, but it just... Plus it's a cheap way to build an yeah. ocean, and you can steal credits if it's next to uh, somebody's That's time. true, actually. It steals other people's credits, doesn't it? It's not our credits we're losing, or is it? Minus victory points, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think I am going to select that one. I, I might not be uh, buying it, but I don't want you guys to do it. <laughs> if your city was next to an ocean space, it would be more tempting. Uh, yeah. Yes, obviously the last one, Ironworks, has come back to us because no one wanted that. Uh, is good if we've got loads of power and we haven't really got loads of power at the minute. Uh, but we'll take that one, we'll take this one. Uh, oh, that means we want all of them now. <laughs> I've taken three, and it just so happens all three of them have got earth tags, which <laughs> give me discounts. Very good for you, then. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think we're going to have to go with flooding. I want all of them. By the way, oh, you're worth it. But then I won't be able to afford the thing I've got to do this turn. <laughs> that's okay. No, that's fine. I think we're just going to go with two and stop being greedy. Yeah. Okay, so Martin's first player this time. Yeah, I still have quite a few cheap cards, and it's just then thinking how many of them I can get out with my 20 credits yes. that I have left. I think if we click on you, yes, we can see that you've got four heat built up with four heat production and 20 credits, but nothing else. Yeah, you can look through sort of my effects yeah. and what well, actions. We can even really click on the actions like that, yeah. and uh, look at the tardigrades action, uh, and that's just add a microbe. And at the minute, it shows that it's got one microbe, and obviously you need four to score a point, but that's fine. It is quite good how you can look at all the different effects, so we can see your earth tag there as well, and your uh, heat into money thing as well. Okay, I'm going to go with... One. I've got import port of advanced greenhouse gas. Has an earth tag, so it gives me a. I get a discount on it of three. Very good. And it will increase my heat production oh, by two. <laughs> That's not what we want to see. I have a feeling about the way this game is going to uh, go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At least we've got a target now, Simon. 
<laughs> and I'm going to build a power plant, which just is a cheap energy in uh, production increase. Very good. So we will OK that. And there's the import of GHG. That only costs six. My goodness. I had a discount ah, of three. Of it has an earth, earth tag. Power plant. Well, I'm going to generate some more money because it's um, better to use my steel to generate money than it is to use it just to pay for things. True. And then I think we're going to put into play Vesta Shipyard. Gets us yet more titanium production. Yeah. I kind of want more productions. I feel. I always get scared of people with titanium. Production. Yeah. That's mm. to just. Well, it's titan uh, titanium's worth more as well, so that's even better. No, it's not. That was. All oh, right. Okay. Of course. Yep. Yeah. And I will press the end of turn. There we go. Always fun to do. So there's the elevator getting steel to money. <laughs> like he needs more of that. And that's the <laughs> shipyard increasing production yet again. So that's uh, two per turn now. Is that? Yes. That is two per turn. Very good early game. And it's us. Hooray. So before I forget what we're doing, uh, which I almost did, there it is. We are playing our research outpost, which counts as a city. We can't put it next to anything we've got, but we've only got one on the board. Now, I kind of wanted to put it here, which would get us nothing. But if we put it here, we get another plant and some titanium. And it's next to all of these plants, which is good. And having cities near each other will give us bonuses. So, yes, I think we're going to do that. Of course, that is just one piece of titanium, not production. But because of our bonuses, we are upping our money production and our money. Um, of course, we've only got eight money now. So that's no good. We can't play any cards. Uh, are we tapped out again? Yeah, we've got no actions. <laughs> okay, so we'll skip the rest of our turn. Yeah, the research outpost, I thought that's a good one. Gives you a permanent discount on everything. Everything, yeah. Good early card, yeah. I'm going to activate my tardigrades. Keep multiplying merrily away throughout the rest of the Keep game. Keep your microbes going. I'm going to play Business Network, which gives me a new action um, to look at the top card and either buy it or discard. Very good. Uh, I do have to reduce my money production by one, unfortunately, but for the choice of having an extra card and being able to pick between, you know, well, having the opportunity to buy it, not buy it yeah. every turn, I think could be a good one. Well, you've also got loads of heat production, and as soon as you're yes, using yes. that as money, that's brilliant. Oh, to have money production. <laughs> I've got two now. <laughs> oh, you can actually put it to negative. Yeah, I think it goes all the way to minus five in the board game. I wonder if that's a hard limit or it's actually just they didn't anticipate anybody going below. I'm, I'm not sure. I think you... I hope not to find out. Yeah, you generally try and push it back up again as soon as possible, don't you? Yeah. And I'm gonna play a couple of cards. The problem with having no money, I keep forgetting what we're doing. I keep looking at this one saying, oh, we can do that. Oh no, it needs science tags. So I've played my combo card and then I've played one that's purely there for victory Excellent. points. Excellent. So we will get to see that. There's the good combo. And there's the victory points. Two extra victory points. Plus a Jovian tag on it as well. So if you get anything that needs those, that's adding on to that. Um, we are doing nothing on our turn. Uh, so we're passing again. First one. That feels a bit weak. I feel like I should be heading the Bristly Channel up in a strong way and instead I'm just going, nah, we're not doing anything. The way these cards combo, there's cards that 
I don't really want to build yet, but it's better for me to build them sooner. Yeah. So I'm going to build... I wouldn't normally build it this early, but... I wish I'd built it even earlier, still have a pets card. Yeah, that is quite um, good. Especially... I expected it to have an oxygen requirement, because they're animals, but obviously they're living in the yeah. cities, so they're okay. Yeah, I did want to take that. It combos with everything I've got really well. Select a resource? Do I add a pet when I play the card? Maybe I admit didn't see that. Uh, maybe. So yes, I yeah. add a pet. I add a pet to it when I play the card. I didn't realise. I think we are doing this card I'm waving at next. It's nice and cheap, and it should get things running. Games like this, it's all about getting your motor running, and the first few turns, it feels like it will take forever to do anything. And then, I think, what did we get to, Simon, on our practice game? Was it turn 13 or something like that? 14, I believe. And um, yeah, everything just happened at once. Okay, I've done the um, business contracts action to look at the top card and decide whether I buy it or not. Um, and I think I will. Excellent. I'm having to use one heat to buy it because I only have two credits left, but that's okay by me. One thing I normally forget about is the standard projects, which I'm just looking at on my screen now. Of course, if you haven't got any power or you need water or something else, and you've got money, it's a good way to get those things. Yeah, I tend to forget them too. I notice when I've played a couple of solo games with the AI, they tend to use a lot of standard projects at the beginning of the game. Yeah, it always feels like a waste of money. Interesting tactic I never thought of. Uh, speaking of waste of money, I am out of money, so I am passing the turn. Uh, back to Martin. Got nothing left to do, so it's a pass from me. Excellent. So we will be going back to the drafting. Oh, that's a good card. Uh, that is a good card. That works with what we've got as well. Uh, and it's quite cheap and will help us. Oh, I want all of these. The weakest one is still really good. Uh, there's a great late stage card in here, but I just don't think I can justify it. Yeah. Yeah. This one might take a while to use, but I don't want you guys to have it. <laughs> it's the main reason I'm taking it. Oh, it's got a science tag as well. Three, three good ones. It cannot decide. That's definitely. <laughs> yeah. It's swung it now. It's got a science tag. We need science tags for some of our other cards, so yeah, that's the one I'm going for. I was going to say you have not got a lot of energy, but you actually have. Yeah, just the one. Which That's is enough. enough, yeah. Oh, we've got another science tag, and it's the one you were just talking about. That's a good card. Oh, that's a good card as well. No, we'll go with the science. We need science, so yes. That was... Predators card does that can that take animals from the pets card? I'm I don't think not. it can from the pets. I think it can from all of the other animals though. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think the the actual blurb on the bottom of the pets card says this cannot be taken by any other card. Yeah, because surprisingly, so, yeah. surprisingly, people don't like it when bears roam into the cities. <laughs> uh, Okay, I think we're going for Arctic Algae. I'm not sure we'd play it though. It is quite good though. Interesting. I've got Archibacteria or Adapted um, Lyca, which is basically the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> One of them substantially cheaper than the other, yeah, I think. Cool. It. Well, this Arctic Algae is a not bad card, whereas Predators is terrible. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Well, Predators is okay, but because the oxygen content, which at the moment is resting on zero at the side of the screen here, it needs to be way up there. 
uh, so you're not going to play it for a long time. Uh, oh, and our last pick was another card that we looked at getting. Okay, that's really good. That means I want to buy all of them again. So we're getting that one, definitely. We're getting that one. Uh, no, I think we'll leave the algae, but take the lich in. Why not? Coming for three? Yeah. Three. It seems expensive. Down to 21 monies. That's no good. I'm on 30. <laughs> All right. That. Use my action and get some money from my steel. Oh, that is really good as well. It, it is. And you haven't got any steel production at the moment, but because you had so much, you've been able to do it every turn. Yep, and it's much more efficient because steel's worth yeah. two, I believe. You use it in and of itself, whereas I get five for it. So, yeah, much better turning it into cash. And then a simple thing that gives me victory points and some money production. Excellent. Over to you. Uh, so there's the space elevator. And there's the rad suits that we kind of wanted to buy. And it's a really cheap yeah, card. Yeah, it gives you money every turn. Uh, and I forgot how to play the game for a moment then. Uh, we want to use this one. It normally costs 11, we're paying 10 because of our outpost. And uh, we've got a bit of money left. Can we do anything? Yes, we can do our nitrate reducing bacteria. Excellent, so we'll do that as well. Now, I can't remember if we have to play the action or it does automatically. I think it's added three automatically. Uh, that is another really good early game card. But no actions left, so we'll pass on. Yeah, we can't do it again this turn. But next turn, uh, the three bacteria we've just put on it will turn into a victory point. But not a victory point at the end, but a victory point at the side here, so it also raises our cash. I think it was Miranda Resort gives me a boost for Earth Tags. Ah, excellent. Which I only had three. One of my Earth Tags sadly was an event, so that doesn't okay, count. Yeah. So that's a discarded face down card. Another microbe. And there's Miranda Resort. Very good. Plus three, that is so good. Minus one up to two. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and I am out of action, so. Uh, Over to you. Guys. Well, I've got one money left, so I'm not playing any cards. I'm just gonna. No, I can actually use the action on my nitrate reducing bacteria, so we will do that action. Uh, we're gonna use three bacteria to turn into a victory point. And confirm. And that gives us one extra point at the side. Excellent. Uh, we can't do anything else, so we're skipping. And over to Martin. Okay, I could increase the heat. I've got nine heat, but that's also technically money in the it, bank. Well, it <laughs> scores a victory point as well. Which, which is, is also money, in, money the in the bank. It is. Um, I'm actually using my business network action to look at the top card. Oh, it's anti-gravity technology, which is an amazing card. It's a two credit discount on every card. However, I need seven science yeah. tags. That's late game. Um, just for the record, I have got no science <laughs> tags. <laughs> I think... I shall not buy this I've card. I've got plenty <laughs> of science in my hand. Well, two. <laughs> That's two more than you, I think. Oh no, have you got one actually? If you're ever unsure, uh, talking to the viewers, we can click on tags here and it shows us all of the tags that we've got. So we have actually got one science tag already played. So if 
I can actually remember how to play the game and play both of these, we will have enough science tags to do that other one. Excellent. Uh, we're not doing anything else though, so we're passing. Just Martin. Very good. So, more drafting. Didn't use your heat then? No. Save it as extra, extra money. Fair dues. Now we are building up on our screen uh, a little bit of heat, although not as much as Martin, uh, which <laughs> screen it's showing me at the minute. That's a lot of heat. <laughs> of course, our heat is coming from our electrical power, and which does take a turn to build up. Oh, that's a good one, but costs one billion pounds. Uh, that's a good one as well. Uh, I think if we don't take this, uh, it will be gone rather than coming back to us. What are the others like, though? Uh, that one's okay, and this one is terrible. Uh, so we don't want that. Yeah, I think we're going for the fuel factory. I mean, actually, oh, I should have bought that virus card. Oh, I wish I'd have bought it. I hope you guys don't buy it. <laughs> Is that convincing? Oh, this works well with the other one. But this works well as well. Uh, yeah, no, that's terrible. Nuclear power. Everyone wants nuclear power, but I'm going to have to take a fungus instead. <sighs> nuclear power did look good. Although, I can't use the fungus until the temperature gets to minus 14 and we're still at minus 30. I was thinking it would be shooting up as Martin was using all his heat up, but no. But that does combo with our other bacteria card, so I'm going to have to take that. It's not coming back to us. I can't decide whether to take terraforming Ganymede. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it away from a certain individual that might benefit from it, who has two Jovian tags, apparently. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not collecting Jovian tags. You're, you happen to have two. <laughs> <laughs> I just happen to have two. It doesn't mean I'm collecting them. It's space tags are the ones that a I load mean. of them as well. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, magnetic field generators. That is awful, <laughs> isn't it? it? Uses up all your power, but it gives you plants and points. So I'm torn between these bad cards. I think we're going to go for that one. And what did we end up with? Ice cap melting. What? Nobody wanted that? It's quite late game, I suppose. Yeah, you get to use it maybe once. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, this isn't too bad, but it's so expensive that if we buy it, we're probably not going to use it. This we want for later. This might be good. We're going with two. I think we can afford two. It's going to eat into our money though. We've only got 16? No, 18. Maths. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I want two cards, but if I do, I might not have enough left for what I thought I might build. Yes. 16 heat. I'm going with three. <laughs> 31 money though. And loads of steel and loads of titanium. Now, what was I going to do? Uh, I need to get our science tag down, but do we want to do that this early? This will give us points and money. This will give us points right now. In fact, let's have a little blow up of this. Ooh. Yeah, actually, that one works quite well in combination with some other cards. So we are going to do imported hydrogen. Uh, 
Yes. And we play that. Now we have to put some water down. Do we go for free cards or plants? Not that close on the plants. Although, let's go for that. And then, do we have plants which would give us eight plants? Which means we could put some green down or do we go for micros which would get us greedy points hmm both would get us points actually uh, let's just go with that one because that will get us more points in the long run uh, that's our first action our second action we are going to do that if we put it here we get even more plants and it scores one point for every city it's next to. So that's pretty good. Over to you, Martin. Yeah, it's getting into tough decision territory now. Um, several ways this can go. Play an expensive card and that'll practically be my turn. Or <laughs> that was pretty much my turn, unfortunately. In. Yeah, schedule them in a little bit differently. Okay, I'm going to be building a city. It's just where to put it. Ooh. So it's one of the hardest parts yes. of the game. <laughs> well, there's a couple of places that would be quite good due to the location of my cities, because obviously I'm going to be putting green next to my cities. Yeah, I'll go next to the ocean and get some credits. But I quite like the gain a card. Yeah, spaces near the bottom, but then it's going to offer. It it will be offset from your city in such a way that you can't get another city. Yes. Mm. And also, if I put green down, you won't be near enough to get benefit from it. Just for those that don't know, uh, green tiles score you one point, I think, but city tiles score one point for every green next to them. I think that's right, anyway. to add a pet to my pet card for building Very city. good. Uh, I think I will get some money from you playing a city as well. Yes, I think that showed as well. And I shall uh, use tardigrades. Yes. Always get excited about playing cards. Uh, immigrant city, that is a good early game card as well. It does lower your money, doesn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, But yes. it will start boosting up the second other things happen, like more cities. Yeah, I now have the same bonus yes. that you have. Um, I figured you might build... I took that at the very beginning of the game because I thought you may be building a lot of cities, so if I play it early-ish, I can hopefully benefit. Well, I kind of do want to build loads, but um, it, it's just getting the correct cards to be able to do it. Obviously, I can do standard project to get a city as well. Well, I'm going to go with uh, steal into money. <laughs> Very good. Because why wouldn't I? And then I think we're going to do some asteroid mining. We are. Which gets me another two titanium production. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Four titanium production. That is four to only be asteroids flying everywhere. I should have definitely taken that uh, Ganymede. <laughs> <there now>. <laughs> <laughs> so I bet Simon has picked it. What makes you think that? Hmm. Right, uh, we're going to use our action over here. Uh, do you want to use this action? Yes, that's why I clicked on it. Uh, we will put one microbe onto there. Uh, has it already got three on it? No, it hasn't. Okay, uh, so yes, we're just adding one to it. And once it builds up again, that will score us another point. But I think, let's double check. Yeah, I think we're all done. Because we did do one action, it will come back to us. It doesn't mean we've ended completely. I've also just noticed in the interface it shows you the tally of the points that you've earned for the cards you played. Normally you don't really know that in a yes, in the board. Yes, the game. victory point tab. Yeah, that yep. certainly helps out. So Simon's already on 10. Wow. Yeah, yep. in our tester game, it looked like I was going to be ahead. 
but his uh, victory point thing was massive. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, it, I think it was about it wasn't 20. even close by the end of it, was it? I think we were drawn of the, yeah. the victory points. and they just give you an extra 20 points on top of everything else. So as you can see, Generation 4, the uh, terraforming of Mars going really well. We've got a bit of oxygen and nothing else. Oh no, we've got some water as well. <laughs> we've been concentrating on the big cities. <laughs> Getting big business in. All that titanium mining. Okay, I've just used my uh, business contracts to look at the top card of the deck. Um, tempting. Of <laughs> course, <laughs> you can have a look, but you've still got to pay the money. I still have to pay three yeah. to buy it, yeah. Oh. I was going to buy it and I accidentally clicked done, <laughs> thinking that was where I normally have the keep button, so actually I didn't buy it. Never mind. Do I increase heat or do I just sit on it? Uh, I love the Mexican standoff here of nobody wanting to increase it by one point for risk of somebody getting that extra heat yes. production. It's not so much that, it's more the uh, yeah, getting some expensive well, cards out. Well, money, money as well, yeah. So what Simon meant, these little greyed out bits here, here, and there are some for heat and water. The player that reaches them gets a bonus to their production. So the first to a heat, uh, this one gives you temperature, so it gives you a bonus point effectively because it puts the temperature up, and the one up there puts an extra bit of water on the map, which can be quite powerful. I keep remembering, or trying to remember, that I was going to build up my cards to go for the milestone. Uh, there are five milestones. No one's gone for any yet. Of course, no one's got to terraforming 35, no one's got three cities, no one's done any gardening. Uh, we're all getting there on the builder, and planner having 16 cards, no. I think I've got the most with 10. And then I've just played my restricted area. Ah, no going there then. Don't go there. <laughs> there it is. That got you a free card as well. Okay. No, we are passing for reels this time. We've got zero actions. That's good. Uh, that helps you to remember the fact that it now says zero and not one. But yeah, we're passing. So straight over to Martin. It's a very cheap card, but I end up using heat, which I don't want to do right now. Yeah, it is a definite Mexican standoff with the heat, it feels like. But then again, you're the only one that's got any. That's true. The well, well, card went round that increased heat twice, which may be in somebody's hand, but I'm not too fussed about one, one heat production. It's the least valuable yeah, of when you've got five or something me. like that. <laughs> mm, Bristol is on 23. Terraforming, I yeah. think. I'm winning. <laughs> we slow off the mark today, aren't we? Okay, so that was the end of our first part. We got through the first four turns of the game, and it took us about an hour. Going into this, I knew it was going to take us a while, and just a little spoiler, the unedited footage was four and a half hours long. We were obviously getting quite tired by the end of it, and there was quite a few big gaps as we're concentrating on what we're trying to do and not fall asleep. But I will try and edit as much of the quiet dead air out as possible, and hopefully it will be something watchable. If you guys have enjoyed this, do leave those likes, as always, all the normal nonsense. Subscribe if you'd like to support the channel as well. But for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you next time.